Hello friends. So today we will see in our video how to implement a SRAM cell. What is SRAM? First is RAM. RAM is what? Random access memory. S stands for static. Static random access memory. So our uh, this what is the uh, means how this uh, cell is implemented for SRAM that we are going to see next. And in case of SRAM that is static random access memory the cell any cell can retain the information as long as power supply is there so as long as we are connected to power supply whatever we have stored that that will be there as it is right and once uh, power is switched off information will be uh, not meaningful right then the next uh, we will see how one bit of storage is implemented if my memory technology is uh, memory chip is designed using SRAM technology. So see here in case of SRAM one single cell is nothing but a latch and the latch is implemented using two cross connected inverters. The cross connected inverters are the basic storage element which is capable of storing one bit of information maybe one or maybe zero right and then this storage element is connected to the bit lines B and B bar which is at the end connected to my sense write circuit. Every bit line is connected to your sense write circuit right. So here this storage element this storage element is connected to this bit lines B and B bar to the outside world via this data line through this two transistors T1 and T2. This transistors T1 and T2 adds as what switches when the transistors are on when the transistor is on and if it is a read operation if it is a memory read operation then whatever logic value is here and here that will be transmitted on the bit line b and b1 right and that will be captured by the sense write circuit and looking at their bit values here one output will be set by the sense write circuit this is how we used to perform operation in SRAM cell. So see here once again the basic storage element is nothing but the two cross connected inverters which is capable of, which are capable of storing one bit of element that is either one or zero. <coughs> the cell is connected. This particular cell is connected to the word line and two bit lines by transistors T1 and T2 right. So it is connected by the bit line and these are uh, sorry this is my word line and these are my bit line. So via these lines the storage element is connected right and see whenever we select a particular address whenever we apply a, uh, address then that will select a particular word line. So whenever the word line is active then the transistors will be switched on otherwise they are in the off state. So the transistors will be switched on and when the transistors are switched on and if we are performing a read operation then the value at these lines will be transmitted to B and B bar and that will be then again uh, sensed by the sense amplifier circuits. So whenever we are performing see here we need to understand this is my this particular line this horizontal line is word line and these lines are your bit lines. Bit lines are connected to your sense amplifier and word line is coming from where? Output of the decoder, right? So when we apply one address, see in generally whenever we perform any memory operation, we first give address. Then from, uh, after applying the address, the decoder will select a particular row. That means that particular word line will be active. Then the transistors will be on. Then depending on your read or write operation, if it is read, values will come here if it is right values will go to this particular positions x and y right so the next is when word line is at ground level that means we have not done anything the transistors are switched off when the transistors are switched off that time latch will be able to retain its state so suppose whenever um, be, uh, this position was one and this position value was zero if it was so then they will remain as it is whenever the transistor is switched off right and whenever the transistor is switched on 
and a new value is written then only the values will be changed otherwise else they will retain their state right so this is how they are going to store something in the srm cell so see next is how to perform a read operation already i have mentioned in my previous uh, slide so in read operation what we will do in order to perform a read srm uh, from a srm cell this is my srm cell first the word line this horizontal line will be activated how it will be activated by applying appropriate address then this line will be activated and then if this line is activated then the transistors will be switched on then the switches will be closed that the switches means this transistors t1 and t2 both will be closed whenever they are closed then only the sense right circuit will get the values of the positions x and y via the bit lines b and b bar depending on the value and b and b bar the sense right circuit will output one bit value right so sense right circuits at the bottom monitors the state of b and b bar right sense right circuits at the bottom monitor the state of b and b bar and set the output accordingly if it is 1 if it is 0 then the sense right circuit will give the output as 1 and vice versa for the reverse case if the cell is in state 1 if it was storing a bit value 1 then the signal on bit line b will be high and the um, on bit line b dash it will be low right and the opposite is true if the cell was in state 0 and the cell will be able to retain its, its state till the power supply is there then the next one is how to perform a write operation so in case of write operation the state of the cell is set means the value of b and b bar will be set by placing appropriate value on bit line b and b bar and then activating the word line right so this forces the cell into the corresponding state will give the proper value on b and b bar if i want to write 1 into this cell then here it, this will be high and this will be low that will what it will do it will transmit this 1 to point x and this will transmit this value 0 to this point y whenever it is a, x is at 1 y it as 0 then the cell will stabilize for the logic value 1 that means it will be able to store the value 1 and to store this information the transistors need to be turned on and transistors will be turned on only when the word line is activated and when it will be activated by applying by applying appropriate address the required cell the required signals on bit lines are generated by the sense right circuit so this much is there for srm cell srm cell uniqueness is the cell can retain its state till the power supply is there and the storage element is nothing but cross connected inverters and there are two switches are there t1 and t2 those are nothing but two transistors which are connected to your bit lines which are connected to sense right circuit and transistors are turned on by the word lines whenever the word line is active then only transistors will be on so this is how srm cell is implemented and in the next video next we will see the dram cell dram stands for dynamic random access memory why the name is dynamic we will discuss in our next video here see actually two cross connected inverters we are showing ultimately these inverters are also implemented using transistors so basically for uh, actually the, this particular storage element whenever it comes to your transistor level the here also two pairs of cross connected inverters are there two pairs of cross connected inverters are there they will form the cross connected inverters right two pairs of transistors will be cross connected and they will form this two cross connected inverters that is nothing but the storage element t1 t2 will be the switches so as a whole in transistor level one srm cell is implemented using six number of transistors this we need to remember for our further discussion so once again i will repeat in case of srm cell one cell is implemented using six number of transistors that means to store a value of either 1 or 0 we require as a whole six number of transistors so this is all about for, from srm cell design in the next video we will see dram cell
थैंक यू